Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to find the length, or at least the partial length, of an arc of a circle. We're going to take one quarter of the circle, going from this point to this point, and notice that the circle is defined by the equation x squared plus y squared equals 36. If we now solve that for y, we have y squared equals 36 minus x squared, or y equals the square root of 36 minus x squared. And we're going to use that equation to find the arc length from x equals 6 to x equals 0, or from x equals 0 to x equals 6, doesn't matter which direction we go. And so what we need to do now is find the derivative of that. So this can be written as the quantity 36 minus x squared to the 1 half power. So when we take the derivative, and uh, this is f prime of x, we get 1 half times 36 minus x squared to the minus 1 half power times the derivative of what's inside, which is minus 2x. So this can be written as f prime of x is equal to the 2 negates the 1 half. We have a minus x over the quantity 36 minus x to the 1 half power. Hmm. Yep, that's good. All right, because we don't have to take a second derivative. I was thinking, oh, for a second derivative, I need a different format. But this is good. Now we're going to square. We're going to square this. So f prime of x quantity squared is equal to x squared divided by 36 minus x. All right. And that goes into our general form for the arc length. So am I missing a bracket? Oh, yes, yes, I'm missing a bracket. Thank you. There, parentheses actually. All right, <laughs> so arc length equals the integral from a to b from zero to six of the square root of one plus x squared divided by 36 minus x dx. Something is wrong, something is wrong. I'm missing a square. There should be a square up there. There we go. Now it's better, and so there should be a square there. Something was not quite right. There it is. All right, now we go ahead and put that over a common denominator. So L is equal to the integral from 0 to 6 of the square root of 36 minus x squared plus x squared divided by 36 minus x squared times dx. Notice that the x squares cancel out. My pen is kind of dying, so let me find a different pen. All right, so the x squares cancel out. The 36 can be taken out, so this is L is equal to 6 times the integral. Now, notice, yeah, 6 times from 0 to 6, that, there we go. And so we have the square root of 1 over 36 minus x squared times dx. So now we need to find the integral of that. And so we need something in the format of the square root of 1 over a squared minus x squared dx. All right. Hmm. What is that again? Inverse sign, right? Is the inverse sign? Inverse sign? Inverse sign? Yep. Yep. That's it. All right. So I just want to make sure. I did that right, so this is equal to the inverse sine of uh, x over a, like this. That's what we want. So we're going to apply the same rule over here, and so we have the arc length is equal to 6 times the inverse sine of, in this case we have x over 6, and we're going to evaluate it from 0 to 6. All right. So when we plug in the upper limit, 6, we get the inverse sine of 1. So when is a sine 1 that's equal to 90 degrees or pi over 2? So this is equal to 6 times pi over 2 minus, when we plug in the lower limit, uh, well, the angle is 0 when the sine is 0. So that's 0 like this. So this gives us pi over 2 times 6 or 3 pi. All right. Is that the correct answer? Well, notice that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. In this case, c is equal to 2 pi times 6 because the radius is 6. So c is equal to 12 pi. 
Notice that 12 pi is 4 times 3 pi, and since we're looking for 1 quarter along the edge of the circle, well, 3 pi is 1 quarter of 12 pi. Looks like we have the right result, and that is how it's done. Am I missing an integral sign? Oh, yes, yes, of course, yes. There we go. Thank you. Uh, R theta works too. <laughs> it does. R theta is not, it's pi over 2. It's got the end. Yes, you can do it very easily by just taking the radius times the angle in radians. Yeah. But that way you wouldn't understand how to do arc length using calculus techniques.